that. So basically, we look into factors. If the one say the long-term remission is positive with the static pregnancy patients treated with trastuzumab-based therapy. We typically look at some dose and for long remission for more than five years. So all of us know that uh, about 20% of breast cancer patients will progress to the metastatic disease. And about 20 to 20% of all breast cancer cases are having a positive And the patient with a transplant based therapy is the first time setting. So in our study, we examined the baseline characteristics and identified factors associated with extended response or remission to efficient prostitutes based therapy focusing on patients who have benefited from treatment for more than five years. So we included about 105 patients diagnosed with a positive uh, breast cancer, both in the recurrent and the de novo setting from 2015 and 2019. And we looked at two different study outcomes, including time to tumor progression. So as you can see, it's our baseline characteristics and we provided that to those who remained on therapy for less than five years and then they progressed or those more than five years and some of them remained on the study and treatment or the trastuzumab-based therapy. So what we found is that the study identified factors associated with prolonged remission, which is more than five years, that is including older age and diagnosis, lower disease state, better performance status, de novo metastatic disease and no brain metastasis, which overall predict favorable prognosis for these patients. So we know that up to positive metastatic breast cancer have tendency to travel to the brain, and that's something that we have to be very vigilant about and monitor the patient when it comes to symptoms. But we have to enhance our strategies to control the brain metastasis for these patients, that that's when that itself can provide a better outcome uh, 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 medication. And now we also have a new uh, antibody drug conjugate so that if the patient progressed on a prostitution based therapy, they can have a better control on the brain uh, intestatic disease, and this is something that we uh, see and experience in the clinic as well with the patient. That's a very important question because a lot of these patients will have to come to the clinic every three uh, weeks to, to get the therapy. So it's something that may impact their quality of life of having to come to the hospital frequently. And adherence might be an issue for this patient. So we try to make it as fast as possible for them to get the treatment that they can leave uh, home uh, to attend to their normal life. And then we always reinforce adherence because we know in this study we showed that interruption can increase the risk of progression by five, by eight times actually, which is very significant. So as much as we can, we reinforce our patient and we educate the patient of the importance of the compliant uh, to therapy. Now, active toxicity is an issue that we uh, face, um, luckily not very frequently with these patients, but uh, we have a strategic uh, plan to sort of uh, look into this and try to prevent it, but also to monitor it very uh, closely and, uh, and uh, have our cardiology uh, colleagues also uh, to be involved in the care of uh, these patients.